Well, parts of the U.S., including the Carolinas, are working to boycott some Russian products. That includes alcohol. Yes, WCNC Charlotte's Carolyn Bruck joining us now to break down the billion dollar imports we get from Russia. And hint, hint, it is not vodka. I know it is not vodka, but expect to see and I'm sure you've seen all the headlines all across the country, cities, states banning vodka, right? North Carolina now has have has a bill wanting to stop the sale of Russian vodka. South Carolina followed suit. So how much vodka does come from Russia? Well, it's not a lot. 1.2% of the vodka imports we get are actually from Russia. The majority of vodka we have on store shelves here from France, Sweden, and the Netherlands. Who knew? Right? Yeah. That's why I looked this up. Because I thought... <laughs> Kettle one. But here's Sorry. the thing. Look, look at what does come from Russia. Here are the top imports to the U.S. So this is what we do get from Russia. $13 billion in mineral fuels. $2.2 uh, $2 billion in precious metal and stone, platinum mostly. Uh, $1.4 billion in iron and steel and 963 million in fertilizers. Even so, we're gonna to continue to see these kind of headlines, banning of Russian vodka. Why? Well, really, it's to show solidarity. It's, it's the one kind of outwardly thing we can do to show solidarity with Ukraine. So just know that when you see those uh, Russian vodka sales being banned, yes, it makes an impact, but a really small one. Wow. Guys, I've been seeing a lot of folks say, yes, it's largely symbolic, but <laughs> certainly. So it's better look at that fertilizer. <laughs> exactly uh -oh. right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right, Carolyn, thank Thanks. you for that.